Teachers Integrated 3, it's 10-167. Um, it says that, oh, I should have brought it with me. Sorry, it says that Letitia graphed this polynomial, it's a cubic, during class and remembered that it had one real root at x equals 3. So that means when she graphed it, it had a real root at x equals 3. So maybe it looked like that or something. Um, explain how you could use division to calculate the other roots and what are they? So since we know it has a root at x equals 3, then we know that x minus 3 must have been one of the factors. And we know it's a cubic. So we're going to divide by x minus 3. So we're going to do some polydoku right here. Okay, so, so we're dividing by x minus 3. So if you remember how to do polydoku, this one goes inside. And then we know that this plus this has to add up to be the, um, the squared, the squared term. Um, I know this up here, this times this has to equal x cubed, so this has to be x squared. This times this has to go in here, so negative 3x squared. And I know that these two have to add up to make negative 5, so this would be negative 2. Um, and I know this times this has to equal this, so this would be negative 2x. This times this has to equal this. So this is just the process of, we call it polydoku or um, uh, polynomial division, I guess you can call it. I know that this box plus this box has to make 8x, so 6x plus 2x, and I know this times this has to equal this, so this will be 2. This times this better add up to that. Oh, good, it does. Or multiply out to make that. Okay, so what that tells me is that x minus 3 times x squared minus 2x plus 2, I got that from up here, is equal to this cubic. So now I would like to find the other, um, what does it say again? And it says, explain how you could use division to calculate the other roots. So I'm trying to find the other roots. So one of the roots, x equals 3 came from there, and there's going to be two more roots that come from here. So I don't have to do this polydoku again. I can just try to factor it, but I have a feeling it's not going to factor because I saw the answer. Uh, multiply, does something multiply to make 2 and add to make negative 2? Is there such a thing? Like the only way to make 2 is 2 times 1 or negative 2 times negative 1. So you can try, but you're not going to find anything nice for factoring. So that means you got to use a quadratic formula. So that's negative b plus or minus square root c all over 2a. So in this case, a equals 1, b equals negative 2, and c equals 2. I just grabbed the coefficients. I'm going to plug them in. I'm going to do some of the work in my head. Um, negative b, so the negative of negative 2 is 2. Negative 2 squared is 4 minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. Four minus 8. So, yeah, that's why it wouldn't factor. Okay, so um, square root of negative 4, that's going to be 2, and then since it's negative, it's going to be i. And if I pull out my 2s, I get 1 plus or minus i. 1 plus or minus i. 
and that's actually what they want for their answer. So that's that's the other root that they were looking for. So from here, from here you get x equals three as a root, and from here you get one plus i and one minus i as a root.